All right, what is up, everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video back in another Planet Coaster fun series. Um, we're going to see what happens here, uh, but we're going to play in challenge mode, something I have not really done much in a long time. And challenge mode is fun because you get to worry about finances and, and uh, stuff like that. So I went ahead and went into the Decidious um, uh, world, and I did make a couple changes to the terrain and everything. This is going to be Wind Valley Park. Um, we're starting with $4,000. That's uh, plenty to get started for a new park, wouldn't you say? I would think so, right? Um, I'm on medium difficulty because I don't want it to be too hard uh, to where it's just kind of like sucks, but I also don't want it to be too super easy. So I decided to go medium where we start with $4,000 and uh, our first challenge is to make sure no entertainer leaves for two months. So we're going to keep that in mind. And the um, first thing we're probably going to want to do is get some loans. So because obviously 4000 is not a whole lot. And let's see what kind of loans we have here. We have a $10,000 loan, $3,000, $2,000, $1,000, five thousand as well so um with this being said i feel like the ten thousand dollar one is going to be the best one for now so we have fourteen thousand dollars to work with and usually just to get started i usually put this down to the lowest we can uh per month that way um we don't have to worry about our expenses too much monthly and we're paying it back slowly and then if we make enough money we can pay it off right away so first things first we're gonna need a fun little entrance and again i don't want to spend too much money and time on the entrance we can upgrade it later we just want to have an entrance for our park so that's what we're going to focus on let's go ahead and do kind of an old school wooden entrance this is gonna you're gonna see this park evolve over time we're just going to start off with something simple let's go ahead and change the colors so they're not exactly the same we're gonna have some faded i guess some like faded colors here yeah that'll be great um for our little bit of an entrance here so this is going to be super small super basic there's only going to be one opening because we don't have a budget for anything else so let's go ahead and put some stuff here and we're going to put a r basic roof on here, like so. That just comes across like that. That's going to give us our nice roof for when we come across here. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put a little, little thing over there. So that looks quite tidy and nice. That looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and I don't know. Let's just cover this up. So there's not like a big gap in the ceiling there. We're going to put something here. So there's something there. Kind of like so. I'm okay with that being there because we're going to put in a sign for our park to get started. Let's go ahead and find a basic sign uh, that will work well here. We'll just start with the basic, basic stuff. Because again, we don't have a whole lot of money to work with. We've already spent like almost two hundred dollars already look at that all right so this is wind valley park so let's go ahead and make sure everyone knows the name of this park it is wind valley park let's go ahead and change some colors here i want this to be kind of yeah let's go with like a little cream color it actually looks pretty good and then as for the sign let's give it kind of like a yeah kind of kind of depressing everything like that can we set an advertise no we can't set an advertise for the entrance i didn't I, I didn't think so um but let's give this just a tiny bit of detail because i like detail in my buildings and again this is going to be a temporary thing but uh i can't i can't go without a little detail for my park entrance this is going to be basic nothing's going to be extreme at all because we don't have money and we want to save the money for the rides that's what we want to do we want to make sure we have enough money for the rides and attractions and stuff that people are going to really spend their money on so we can upgrade stuff like this later down the line all right so that looks good let's go ahead and copy it on over to the other side and that's probably going to be about it for our entrance let's see if i can move these up like that there we go that's beautiful and a nice little entrance building right there uh we might put a little foliage in there just to lighten the mood up for when guests come in here because they're gonna love this place. I absolutely love this place. So the idea about this place is of course, we're gonna have to just kind of hide up the, the details there. All right, that's looking just fine. And we've got a little bit of entrance going. Let's go ahead and put a couple of trees here. We're not gonna worry about 
parking lots in this particular build. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to try and go as realistic as I can, but again, we have to work with funds. So we basically have nothing to work with, and we got to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and put in a couple lamps here. Uh, again, I like to try and do as much detail I can with, I, with what I have right now. Um, and we're going to do just as much as we can. It's going to be a little, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough because we don't have a whole lot of funds to work with, but that is okay. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and have railings and curb on ground path. Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and start with a rustic gravel path because I feel like that's all we would be able to afford uh, in this situation. We're going to stick to the grid here and have a nice little plaza to kind of get people inside the park here okay that's what they're gonna that's what they're gonna open up to right there and we're gonna go ahead and continue on this entrance and i want everything to be kind of organized so let's go ahead and rename this building the entrance building just like so how about that i'm gonna go ahead and edit off of it just so I can get some nice symmetrical stuff going on here. We're gonna continue with the wood theme and I'm gonna go ahead and build some buildings here for some shops. We're just gonna have some early shops uh, coming out here. So right here, we're gonna have our first shop of the build. So let's go ahead and place a basic kind of structure here. Nothing's gonna be too fancy because we don't have a whole lot of uh, stuff we're working with all right um, also what I want to do is I want to make these buildings separate so we're gonna go ahead and split this from the building and make it its own thing so that way this building can be shop one all right we're, I'm, I'm gonna go as far as naming them that's how that's how dedicated I am all right and we're gonna go ahead and start off with the chief beef simplify it out here and everything's gonna be great this is gonna be a great great that time so again yes I want to go for realism here but I also want to also make sure that I know that I also don't have a whole lot of funds and we're gonna work around that so it's gonna be kind of a fun little challenge to work around what I want to try and do is kind of crowd the entrance make sure there's a lot of stuff right at the front and maybe a couple rides here and there so there's not gonna be a ton of rides to get started off again I'm not gonna be able to put a lot of detail into this right away we do have some um, we do have some extra um, loans if we do need to take those out as well but the goal is to not have to and work with what we are currently dealing with right now so look at that we have a nice little structured building nothing fancy nothing fancy we can't do anything fancy yet we're we don't have the funds for fancy so let's go ahead and stick with what we have actually let's do this right here and then I want to go here with this and kind of go across kind of like so kind of like give it a little bit of texture and everything like that. Let's get into signs. Let's go ahead and do a shop sign and we want to do chief beef here. All right. We want to make sure we have a chief beef. Um, we could do just like the basic wooden sign here or we can go with kind of like a generic sign. I kind of like the generic sign here. Let's go ahead and pull it out a little bit so it's nice and ready to go. Set advertise destination always. We want to make sure people are going to be led to that so let's go ahead and put in some windows here and we're just gonna stick with kind of like the we're gonna kind of go with a rustic kind of theme because again we don't have a lot of money so we're gonna use in lots of wooden structures nothing too fancy let's go ahead and get these out here just for a little bit of extra detail and uh, let's get a couple more um, little planks here and all right let's go ahead and change those there put those there and i want to go ahead and change the color of these to something kind of old and rustic looking we can also go to our awnings here um, let's go ahead and type in awnings and i'm going to go ahead and find the chief beef awning and see how that's going to look um, i'm thinking about just putting it over these windows here just to give it that nice little taste of um uh, stuff so it kind of looks a little bit nice so you got a little bit modern mixed in there just slightly um, so you know this is a chief beef here mmm tasty and you can see that's a nice little stall that's a nice little building right there nothing too fancy again but it's a nice little building let's go ahead and make sure it's lit up for at night um, so we're also going to want to make sure we have enough room for rides, attractions, and such like that. I want to have a decent amount of attractions for opening 
Um, I'm not sure how many we're going to be able to fit in, but we're going to try. I'm not sure if we're going to start with a roller coaster. I would like to start with a roller coaster, but I don't know if we're going to be able to. Um, it's just kind of, you know, it just kind of depends. Everything just kind of depends. We could have a little bit of uh, Chief Beef advertising here if we want to. Um, let's go ahead and go to scenery, and let's go ahead and find some extras here. I think it's under props, signs, and advertising. There it is. That way we can get a Chief Beef swing sign here i like to kind of put these sometimes right outside here again this is a cheap park nothing is going to be like nothing's going to be grand here all right so we're going to go ahead and make sure that's connected let's change our width all the way down um so this building i might add more detail later like a little backstage thing going on here but since we are tight on money i kind of want to save on that and not do that just yet let's go ahead and get our next building in so we're going to go ahead and stay on the same theme i want to stay on wood and our next shop is going to be maybe a cosmic cow or some some sort of drink we want to make sure we have a drink ready for our guests as well let's do a different texture here all right so let's go ahead and get the building here so we're going to kind of build around kind of like so all right so this building is going to connect right down right there and then we're going to go ahead and put down our shop so let's go ahead and go to our drink shop so we can only do milkshades because we i forgot that we do have to unlock stuff uh first so that's something to remember there we're going to go ahead and place that down and i do want to make uh we'll keep it we'll keep it the same i was gonna split it but i was like no 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 we'll keep it the same we'll keep the same shops it's a shop building all right let's go ahead and put that in there and i think i'm gonna make it the same height as the uh other shop building as well it's gonna be kind of uniform here we're gonna stay uniform um to what we have let's go ahead and place in these just like that all right, I'm just gonna copy and paste these over. Make it a little simple. Make our life a little bit simpler. Use a different kind of slope for the roof, so it kind of has a different, uh, kind of differ differs from our our last building. You know, it kind of gives it uh, its own little character. Gives it its own little thing. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And uh, always going to add a little bit of a little backstage section usually what i like to do um again we'll only do backstage if we have the remaining enough funds to do backstage stuff so let's go ahead and continue this over here it's going to be a very uh similar looking building um everything's going to be kind of uniformish here um, we're gonna make it look pretty close there we go there we go cosmic cow milkshakes and we'll make sure to set the advertising destination there. I think we can set, yeah, we can do it to that one as well. So that's cool. Uh, we'll also have one of those as well. We're gonna go ahead and put these same type of windows here. We're just gonna change the color to kind of a faded blue to kind of match the aesthetic of the shop. It's gonna kind of match, again, the, um, it's gonna match a little bit of what we've done on this side already so we just kind of want to make sure that is the same let's go ahead and find our milkshake awnings so we all know what this is everyone knows cosmic cow right all right let's go ahead and get our path taken care of here let's make sure we can connect this to the shop that's the one thing i was actually kind of fearing here is to make sure we can connect everything there we go that's a little bit nicer as much as i don't want that to be there we can kind of make a fix for that by just doing that and then potentially putting a curb there i don't think guests will go there i just want to make sure guests are not going to start walking into our corner here so i want to make sure right about there we'll just put a curb here so guests try to avoid going into the the building there all right so we got a nice little start to our park this is nothing too fancy obviously but uh let's see all right so now that we got those are some essential shops we want to make sure we have 
uh, something else that's essential, and that's gonna be our toilets. So you gotta have toilets. Let's go ahead and build off of these. So we're gonna make some restrooms real quick. Another essential. So you always wanna get the essentials down first with your budget. And look at that, we still have $12,200. I think we're doing pretty good uh, for where we're at right now. I need to put those lights on there as well. So let's go back to our wood textures. And let's use this last wood texture that we have not used yet. But these are gonna be our basic restrooms. We're gonna go ahead and put in an arch here as well to kind of put that there. Let's go ahead and go to our shops and facilities. We're gonna go restrooms and we're gonna put in a restroom. We're probably gonna start with just one restroom. I'm gonna make sure, um, should we have these, change these colors maybe? Kind of like that, I like that, that'll be fine. And then for this one, Let's change that green to kind of a brown. I like the brown. All right, and then we can also change the colors if we want of the restroom itself. Let's go with kind of the, the brownish colors just kind of to match the, the, the building a little bit. All right, let's go back to our buildings here. We're gonna go back here and we need to make a proper roof. We're gonna get crazy here. Just a little bit. There we go, nice clean roof for our restrooms. Let's get a sign in here, misc signs, uh, shop signs. Um, and find our basic restroom sign. We'll use the big one or the small one. We're cheap, we'll use the small one, which we're gonna use to set advertising destinations for that. Um, let's go ahead and I think I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny, tiny sign right here. That's also gonna advertise the restrooms. And we're gonna go with this. Restrooms. Now restrooms are a little bit more difficult, I feel, to detail because obviously you don't wanna have windows or anything like that. So I usually try my best to use some planks and just to kinda get something going here. So we'll go ahead Place some of these down, make this building look somewhat presentable. Something else we can also do, uh, just to, just because I like to have a little bit of a hang, overhang right there. Um, it looks quite nice. Oops. We have to do the advanced move tool. We'll just rotate that around to the other side. They have some nice little restrooms, and that looks pretty good right there, even for for not having too much um, detail. Um, even put a small sign here, make it look nice. There we go, and that fits pretty well. Yeah, I'm liking that. All right, let's make sure our guests can get to it by making a path. There we go, and we have kind of like our essential um, merchandise shop, or shops. Well, we don't have merchandise shops, but we do have shops, or kind of like our essential ones. You got food, drink, and restrooms. Those are gonna be the main things that you're gonna need right off the bat, and other stuff we're gonna have to, um, I guess we do have a first aid. We don't have to do first aid right away. Let's go ahead and start off with some rides. We could make a um, central, Grand Carousel, which is going to be fifteen hundred. We still have eleven thousand seven hundred dollars to work with, so I think we do a nice Grand Carousel for our gentle ride, so we can have a nice gentle ride, um, centered ride um, that will look really, really nice. Um, let me fill in that gap right there. I'll make that nice. Um, let's go ahead and place our entrance and exits. So we're going to have a little bit of a queue. Let's put the entrance, say, right here on this side. We'll put the exit on the opposite side. We'll select here, and we'll make a nice circle around that, or a nice symmetrical, making it look quite nice. And then we'll put some cool decorations in there. 
I'm gonna save the decorations for last because I want to make sure we get our rides in and we can add decorations as we go along as we need to. Have that there, and then we're gonna have the entrance to the ride right there. It'll look quite nice. Again, I want to save decorations for later. I do want to get this cue scenery rating up for it, so we will keep that in mind. But I just want to get our rides in there first and see what we're working with. So, our next ride, let's go ahead and make sure we have a thrill ride here. We're gonna do a thrill ride next. So, let's go to our thrill rides. This is our options here. So, let's go ahead and build a wild blue thrill ride. <clears throat> I kind of want to build it off a little off to the side of over here, maybe. So let's go ahead and we're going to put our entrance on the back side here. Put our exit back here. <clears throat> All right, back there. And then let's go ahead and connect our entrance. That's the thing again when you do some of these. It can get tough. All right, that's what we want. There we go. Nice and straight. That should be a decently long queue enough for wild blue. And we're going to have some nice decorations around it. <clears throat> so we got two nice rides, one gentle and one thrill. We still have $8,034.50. Again, we can always use a little bit more uh, when we, if we want to. So let's go ahead <coughs> and see what else we can do. We can put in another ride, as much as I like free flyer. The Hurricane is just going to be a little bit of a cheaper option for us. And it's a nice classic scrambler ride, which I feel like would be very perfect for this park. All right, this is a little bit too bright of colors. I feel like we would kind of go with something a little bit more gray, less colory. Kind of faded. Like maybe that we, we bought this in an auction or something. And it looks like it's been, hasn't been used in years. That's kind of what we're going for. Same with Wild Blue. Let's uh, let's get it a little bit more faded here. Yeah, there we go. Grand Carousel. Fade those colors a little bit too. Still looks quite nice though. All right, so we got three rides, three different shops. That's pretty well balanced. That's a lot of stuff going on already once we get this decorated up i think it'll look quite nice actually <coughs> we need i want to get like a i'd love to get like another uh shop going over here what other options do we have any merch that we could do we don't have any gift shops yet and i know that's usually a high demand thing right off the bat all right so now with that let's go ahead and do some staff management i think i'm gonna put in a staff building right here in this little staff spot so doing that let's go ahead and put a uh, door in the front of this so it kind of looks a little bit legit this will be a nice employee room and then capacity let's go ahead and do the capacity um i don't know what's the highest you can do 10 we'll just keep it at 10 and then we got to give it perks make the guests they interact with even happier that's actually a really good staff PR course let's do staff PR course it's gonna be good this is gonna cost us $800 to have that perk in there but I think it'll be worth it keeping our guests happy so let's go ahead and spend that and then we're gonna go ahead and let's make a little this is gonna be somewhat of a backstage uh, uh, pathway here that we're gonna connect right there. I'm gonna put a little sign here that says staff only. So we're gonna put that there and let's go. All right, that looks good. I don't know if you can set advertising this. I didn't think you would be able to, that'd be kind of weird <coughs> if you were able to, so. All right, so we got that in there. Um, what other shop could we do? I kind of want to put, again, I kind of want to do another shop or something, but it might have to wait. We might just have to wait on it. 
um, just for now. Um, and I really want to put it over here somewhere. But uh, with $5,000 left, I kind of, with what we have, kind of want to just decorate the park and make it look really, really nice. Let's go ahead and start with this red, these red flower bushes. I like these quite a bit. And usually when I do this, I usually just kind of go evenly between each one here. We could even put a park sign, a nice pretty park sign at the front here. That would be kind of a nice touch. And then maybe we can find another big or semi-big bush here. Let's go ahead and make, I like this one there, white. And what else? What other ones? We got these ones as well. Let's make them yellow. And I'm just gonna place these in front of these bushes and go in front like this. It'll look quite cool, quite nice, quite pretty. All right, so let's put a little bit of grass in there. Coming around. Because scenery will ultimately raise your park rating. And that's what we want to do here. And that's going to be beautiful. And let's make a nice little park sign for our central hub here. So we're going to put in a nice little park sign. Maybe we can use letters even. Again, if you don't mind using theme park or toolkit items like I do. I try to limit them sometimes, but um, sometimes they can be a real good asset for you. Let's go about, let's go about right there. Go to our signs. I could use sign. I think I'm going to use this. I think I might just for now use a nice little sign here. Let's just kind of give it a nice little rustic feel. Look at that. And that gives you a nice, cute, cute, cool little, uh, little entrance area there. Let's go ahead and put a few more of these bushes in here. And a few of these bushes. Just to kind of top everything off. So we're going to try and continue a little bit of the theme that we kind of created over here with the bushes that we had. We're going to try and keep it going around here. Kind of keep it uh, keep it going. Gonna keep the same idea going here. And sometimes again you can kind of go a little bit cheating and this will bleed into some of the other um, scenery ratings for the other cues as well. And that's looking pretty good. We have about a little over five thousand dollars left. Let's see what our cue scenery ratings looking like for our carousel. It's at 53% so we're about halfway there. Um, for what we want to do for that. We don't have to get it to quite a hundred, but I'd like to get it in the green Lamps are also nice because you can light up your queue a little bit uh, For when it's dark But they also look quite nice just in general as scenery And we're gonna put quite a few here Looking good, and let's see if that raised it some. We're already up to 62. That raised it almost by 10% by just adding those lamps. So that's quite nice. <clears throat> and another way you can kind of get it up is adding some ride signs. Is adding just like an entrance sign here. So what we can do is I'm just going to use these so I can make it as large as I want, or large or as small as I want. All right, I got it. So we'll just call it Grand Carousel. I'm gonna get rid of the one. I always, I always, when I, I don't know about you guys, but I always got rid of those ones in Roller Coaster Tycoon. I hated having those ones. I wanted, I wanted to make my make it look like a real name. I never liked having those ones in there. So you can also add maybe some benches. I don't know if this will add anything to those Q line ratings, but it could. Potentially. 64. And that put it to 67, just adding those few there. Wow. So now that is in the green, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and move on to our next ride that also needs a little bit of um uh a little bit of love when it comes to uh scenery. This is a cheap way to kind of get that scenery rating up, is to just use grass or these little grassy patches. 
and place them under everything. And you can place kind of as many as you want to, so... Like I said, it's kind of a cheap way. So something you could we could do is put a fence around this queue line so you can't see the outside world. Uh, since there's not any trees or anything like that, I kind of, you know, don't like that. So let's go ahead and put a fence up on the outside here. Uh, we could do a nice fence, but I want a fence that we can't see through, so I'm probably just going to use the wooden fence here. Kind of make that boundary. So this won't be necessarily just for this queue line, but it's going to be kind of a boundary just in general for the park. So we're going to have a little fence right here as we get to our entrance. And that's okay at the moment. All right, let's go back to our little bit of our foliage again. All right, so there we go. We can add maybe a few trees. I actually haven't added any trees yet. That's actually very uncharacteristic of, of, of me. I usually have tons of trees ready to go already. So this will be nice for a queue line there. And hopefully that won't interfere with the ride cycle. We'll check on that. I think it's going to be far away, enough away, but you never know. This one's just going to have some random patches in there, except for this side. This side's going to stay a little symmetrical. Uh, let's make that look good. Dun, dun, dun. Couple of these. All right, let's continue our... <clears throat> well, this over here because it's gonna make a turn right here and this fence is gonna go this way and then when we want to expand obviously we can mess around with this fence but this is gonna be kind of like our park border fence in a, in a way I guess you could say all right that should be far enough over and again, this should be somewhat affecting this queue over here as well. So hopefully we can get a nice queue rating from it. You can kind of see this kind of like a storied park almost. That's kind of what we're going for here. If you kind of remember those Golden Valley days, I'm not going to say it's exactly the same, but it's, it's going to be pretty close, I guess. I mean, you could say it's pretty close because we're working with finances. We're going to be planning for each new addition each year. Because I kind of want to play. I like playing these kind of like as realistically as I can. I like to have like um, sometimes like to make it to where I add additions uh, each year and not like every week <laughs> if that makes sense all right you can see that's going to be kind of like the size of our park to start out here we have a couple of rides we have a shopping play area it is going to be great i wonder if we could change this into a circle or a more rounded planter here oh okay that's that's actually not bad that creates more space for when guests want to use the um the shops a little bit so when there's a line built up I actually think that works okay probably gonna put a tree in the middle here yeah let's put a nice tree not a huge tree <clears throat> there's a certain one I'm thinking of these ones this one's nice because it's not interfering with anything at the bottom but it kind of gives some nice shade all right all right let's go ahead and get a couple of park benches Right here, kind of like that. I like that. There we go. Put in there. We're going to put some park benches here for our guests. And you want to have trash cans near your shops as well. That's going to be important. All right, we want to put... Let's go ahead and put a ride sign for Wild Blue here. Let's go ahead and keep the name the same. Why not? What we could do... Did I make this a... Uh, let's go ahead and make this a building piece yeah, scenery group and we're gonna duplicate it and that advertising destination right there all right look at that <clears throat> all right let's make this look beautiful let's go ahead and add some foliage here there we go we could put a small 
couple of trees in here too if we want just a few trees gotta love those trees all right so everything over here is looking quite nice um, I'm gonna add a little bit of grass to finish up this right side over here I might put a uh, little tree that's gonna be hanging out over here as well that hopefully won't get in the way of our ride cycle. We might add more bushes over there as well. But let's go ahead and get this queue line scenery rating up for this ride. Let's just surround it with beauty, you know? Surround it with that beauty. That is what we want, ultimately. All right, let's place these in between. Like that. Let's go ahead and put some trees down. We have an opportunity to put some trees in this area after we wait for this auto save to finish. So you can see that we're starting to fill up. Now I did fill these up. Let's go ahead and add a little bit over here with some bushes or something. Maybe some some bushes are bigger than others. Maybe kind of overgrowing right there a little bit. That bush might get might get in the way a little bit. Let's lower it down a bit. There we go. Don't want it to get in the way of the ride. Or maybe we do. That'd be a lot of fun. Let's have one of these. These plants are kind of cool. I like these ones. <clears throat> Just sprinkle those in to a few spots, too. Because they're, they're a pretty bush. If we're going to need to put some more lamps, I need to get a sign for this ride, too. But we want to make sure these are lit up for... When it does, if it does ever get, if we are open late, you know, we want to have, make sure everything is lit up. We'll also want some lamp posts in these areas too. That way our park is nice and lit up at night. So we're just going to place all these around here. All right, I don't think we put land posts here yet, so we didn't. Let's go ahead and do that. So this ride, it rides queue is nice and lit. And we look, Grand Carousel's at 100%. Uh, Hurricane over here is at 78%, so we need to do a little bit more. Uh, obviously, we're going to go ahead and do a sign for it as well. And that got it up to 79%. Everything's at 100 except for hurricanes, so we might add a few more things here and there just to get it up. Put a couple of random bushes back here, maybe. Just outside the park to kind of get that feeling that there is, um, that it's not just open right outside here, you know. So when we do some construction, we are going to have to tear down some trees. And we might be able to decorate a few more things. Uh, one of those things that I wanted to do is maybe decorate the front a little bit. You can see how bland the entrance is. We can do a little bit more uh, with that and make it look better. I'm not going to go crazy with it, but we can make it look at least presentable and look quite nice. Alright, that should be enough for now. Let's see if that got it up to 95% actually by placing those outside trees. <clears throat> Something else we could do is add a couple of benches, maybe right right by it, and a, a trash bin right by it. That might also kind of help boost it a little bit. No, it didn't. That's okay. And sometimes all it takes is a couple extra bushes. up against that wall all right you got to be there now 100% that's what we're looking for and now our look at look how beautiful that is look how beautiful it's just a couple of rides a few shops a bathroom and that is gonna be our humble beginnings isn't that great that's our humble beginnings right there right right there all right let's go ahead and go into our entrance building 
And what we're gonna want to do here is we're gonna want to block these buildings off. You don't want to you want you don't really want to see these buildings um, as you're walking in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put a fence here. So when you enter, this is what the guests are gonna see. You know, this is what the guests are gonna see. So we want them to see what we want them to see. And that's a nice little entrance for our park. Just a nice little entrance that uh, <clears throat> isn't going to be the greatest looking entrance you ever did see, but you're going into a tiny little park, so there's not there's not going to be much we're going to be able to show you right off the bat. You know, you're not. Once you get in, you're going to forget about it. You know, once you get inside. Let's go ahead and add a few windows here. Align the surface, and you can see our nice little park, our nice little challenge park. So let's make sure all these are testing. We'll make sure our rides test before we open up. And we're gonna go ahead and get into our staff. We need some staff here. Let's go ahead, place down a janitor. We're gonna place down a mechanic. We're gonna place down, uh, we should already have vendors, but I'm gonna put an extra vendor down so they can have breaks. And an entertainer. Who should be the face of our park? entertainment wise but we do have a chief beef and cosmic cow so i'm thinking chief beef's gonna be our guy here he's gonna be our mascot since he is kind of our brand uh over there <clears throat> so he's gonna he's gonna kick things off for us we still have just under three thousand dollars and that's kind of a good thing i kind of i'm thinking about stay keeping with that because um what we're gonna do is stick with that that way we can make a little bit uh we, we're a little bit over that way we can make some money um, and we're not gonna be in like go into the negative we're gonna try and avoid going into the negative so now we got to set some prices all right let's set some prices for our rides wild blue we're gonna be able to charge a little bit extra here so we have it at nine let's go ahead and go twelve dollars hurricane again one with that extra boost of scenery we're gonna go maybe not ten let's go nine for that and then our grand carousel um, is at five. I don't want to go too much higher on that. Let's go six and then the park entrance fee is another thing We got to think of um, it's currently zero dollars right now, but I think we should charge at least At least five dollars and then for family tickets. Let's go three and uh, Kind of like to see what we're gonna go with with there. Let's keep the maximum guess at 2,000 That seems a little bit high for this park, but I, I, I if it gets a little bit crowded uh, and stuff like that and we have complaints about crowding uh, we could we can definitely um, uh, figure that out so all right so I think everything's lit up let's go ahead and check our lighting for p.m. we might add a few over here actually <coughs> excuse me let's just add a couple of lamps over here And I'm gonna edit this building and add, I, I remember I need to add these over here as well on the cosmic cow. There we go. And that's looking pretty good lit up at night. Our park is pretty well lit it looks like um, for PM. Let's go ahead and uncheck that and we'll go with the flow. And uh, I think I want to make our park hours a little bit later. So closing time instead of 6 p.m., let's make our closing time for now 8 p.m. So it might get a little, just a little bit dark. And we'll make our open time 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. That's some pretty decent hours. So looking at this, I think we're about ready to open. I think the park's already set to open. Let's go ahead and push play. And get our first guests in. They are turning around. Standard ticket is way overpriced. That's right. They're going to say that because nothing's open just yet. 
Something we also need to do is make sure our get yeah, our uh, employees are getting paid decently enough. So let's go ahead and open the grand carousel. It should be good to go. Hurricane and then as they're testing wild blue. Let's get our rides open here. All right, let's suck these staff members as well. I want to make sure they are also counted for for their pay. So our first challenge was to have no entertainers leave for two months. So hopefully we can do that. We don't have a hotel. We could build a hotel and a build a coaster at least 1,640 feet long. That might be our next thing is building our next coaster for that next episode. And look at all these guests coming in. They are excited to come in to our new park, Wind Valley Park. So we could work on our first coaster in the next episode, but let's see exactly how well we're going to do this first season. And you can see we are making a lot of money right off the bat. That's usually what happens when you first get your guests in. It's just how you maintain that is going to be the big thing. So as for inspections, let's do our inspections every 20 minutes just to ensure that we're keeping our rides up to date for inspections. Look at these guests pouring in on opening day. Look at that. It is our opening month. Everything's looking great. I'm excited. This is what people see. All right, Wind Valley Park. And look at that. You get an awesome view of Wild Blue. And look at that carousel in the background. That just gets you kind of hyped when you first walk in. Look at this. And you got some nice little shops here. Cosmic Cow, Chief Beef, already getting a little bit of business. I like to see it. Some thin pathways, but we got some rides here. You got Hurricane, a fun attraction. You can go back here, you get some cool views of Wild Blue as they fly over your head. I like that effect. They fly over the path. Fly to the Valkyrie's plan. And you get an awesome grand carousel in the middle. All right, we got some greeters here. All right, how are you guys liking the park? Is it great? I'm glad I'm glad you guys are here. Welcome. Welcome to Wind Valley Park. Our grand opening just for you guys. You guys are our guests. Have a look around. Enjoy. All right, that's so much fun right there. I love it. I think we have a good start to this park as long as we can keep the money coming in, which it is coming in pretty well right now. We got $5,000, and when we opened, we were just under $3,000. So we are making a profit. Our profit in this first month is $2,264 so far. Um, let's see what is making money and what's not so far. So shop sales are $183. The running costs are $800. So shops and facilities right now are kind of not good. But then again, a lot of people might not be visiting these shops just yet. We got some good... We do have a good, some good lines there. It could have just because it took them a while to get in there. So that looks like it's going to start coming down. It looks like it came down by another $100, $200 already just by that time. Park management. This is going to be all our, like, our staff wages, um, our loan payments, and loan payment interests. So that's always going to be negative pretty much no matter what on the running costs. So we don't have anything else, which is good. Our profits there. We could do a little bit of marketing. That could be a thing we could do. Construction costs. So we got to keep that into account too. All the ride construction. We spent $11,080 to get this park up and running. Other cash was our loan. So as of right now, our cash flow is $1,800 or $1,800 um, because we started with $4,000. So that's our cash flow. So that is good right now. Our profit is still going up. We're in $3,000 at the moment. As you can see, it is going to get a little dark here before park closing, which is kind of a nice little scene here. You can see the lights starting to come on um, since we are open until 8 p.m. 
We're up to $6,000 now. Profits are looking good. <coughs> and the park's not as crowded as I, as I thought it would be. You know, we got 500 guests in here. There's still some guests coming, popping in here, but not too many. Let's see what our guests are thinking. That's going to be very important for us. So let's see. A lot of some people are saying Wild Blue's too expensive. A couple are saying Hurricane's a little expensive, but I think that's okay. Look at that queue line; it's pretty full. So I think that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> Grand Carousel's got a decent line. Wild Blue doesn't have as much as a line as I thought it would. But that's kind of good, keeping the queues down a little bit. You want to have a good balance when you make those prices. So, But overall, more green than anything. A lot of people are saying our scenery is good. This park is great. But the advert makes me more excited. Everyone's excited with the advertisements. All right. So a couple of minor adjustments. I'm going to add some lighting to our Wind Valley Park sign here because there's no light to it. There's no, there's no little spotlight on it. Let's get some spotlight on this sign there we go that's nice all right seven thousand dollars look at that we're gonna see how our first month goes in the end and then i'll probably leave this episode here getting the park kind of prepped for our first year of operation <clears throat> and then when we come back in the next episode we'll kind of see the uh the construction of our year two investment so we're gonna make some investments all right so we are about to go into about to go into the first month of operation right now is about to end and there we are all right let's go ahead and pause right there so we can kind of get our first month's um our first month uh, in here. So our first month we made $6,657.46 on rides and tickets. I can tell you right now um, that's not going to be as big uh, for the rest of the park. That's actually going to stay uh, probably going to get lower because again uh, the first guest in the park entered so now that we kind of level out our guest count um, that will definitely go down. As long as our rides and tickets make us more than $884 a month, that actually should be good. And then we're talking about entrance, and we're also talking about rides. So with the entrance ticket sales, we had nearly just under $3,000. We can probably expect that to get down into the 1000 or less. Um, but you can see that our ride ticket sales are the most important one here um, because that's the one that we're going to probably go off the most. And it's definitely going to be a nice profit for us <coughs> overall. And that's going to be the most important one. And you can see our shops and facilities did not do well. $881. Um, as you can see, the costs are over $1,400. The, sh the, the shop sells only got us $597, uh, which is not ideal. We want definitely more money than that in the end. So... But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of the Challenge Park. Uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see next in this series. <clears throat> I don't know how long this series will go on. If you guys have a lot of interest in this series, let me know. Uh, because I like the simulation aspect, trying to do simulation stuff. Um, so when we come back, we're going to try and build our first coaster for year number two. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much, and goodbye.